simple thing you need a physicist to explain. Like Michio Kaku. Anyone who's seen Star Trek wonders, well, why can't we simply build antimatter engines like on the Enterprise? Well, antimatter exists. But it's only created naturally in rare ultra-high speed collisions, such as those that happen inside solar flares. It's a particle of regular matter with its electrical charge reversed. So dramatic things happen when antimatter meets matter. Total annihilation, releasing huge amounts of energy. If I had a teaspoon, a teaspoon of antimatter, I can essentially mimic the power of a hundred hydrogen bombs. That's how efficient an antimatter engine would be. Now, scientists produce antimatter on Earth. But it's a slow and costly process. Creating a gram of antimatter would cost more than 60 trillion dollars. A little outside our mission's budget. NASA can produce trillions of antimatter protons. Sounds impressive, but that's no more than the energy in a book of matches. To get to where we need with propulsion, we'd need something that could store maybe a thousand times that. 